So if you missed the last video, I made an announcement that I am starting a new podcast series going through the Gospel of Luke, reading and reflecting the Gospel of Luke for the next 47 days. The time that this video comes out today, uh, the first episode is up. So I would recommend you go, the link's in the description if you want to go check that out. So this is kind of like a promotion for that, for that podcast series, but also an exhortation to read the Bible, just in general. Whether you, whether you click the link for the podcast or not, this is so essential to the Christian life. And as I think back through my faith life and experience, there are certainly periods of my life, um, up until just very recently, I was not consistently reading the Bible. And there are certainly points in my life where I was hardly reading the Bible at all. Uh, and as I look back and as I, as I think about where I'm at now, I have become convicted that we need to read this story. And I've also absolutely fallen in love with the story, what I think is the greatest story of all time. But I think we need to read this book for a number of reasons, but I, I wanna talk about two. One is that we need to read the gospel, and we need to know the story of Jesus Christ, because if we don't, we might not know the full Jesus. You might not know the accurate Jesus. The Jesus that we believe in might be some figure of our imagination or our creation or the Jesus that fits the mold that we want. If we read God's word, we get the Jesus. We get the true Jesus, the one from the gospel, the one from the Bible, uh, the one that is written about by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the true Jesus, what he said, what he did. Um, and if we, if we don't read through that, we might have uh, our configuration of Jesus. But the second thing, and I think is maybe equally if not more important, is that um, we need to know his backstory. I think that oftentimes for, for many of us in our faith experience, our understanding of Jesus, what we know about Jesus, uh, is like the big things about Jesus. That uh, we know what happened on Christmas, and we know that he lived. We know maybe some of maybe some of his like top three coolest things he said or did. Uh, but we know that he died. And we know that he resurrected from the dead. The main points about Jesus, and maybe that's enough for faith. And I think that that's what's, that's good, and we need to know the main the main stuff, the big things about Jesus. That might be enough for faith, but I don't think it's enough for relationship. Yeah, we need to know the back story. For relationship, if I was to meet you and I wanted to become good friends with you, um, could I develop a solid relationship with you, only knowing the main things about your life? Maybe like the top three things you've done in your life, the stuff that you're really known for. Um, I have no depth of relationship with you until I know your backstory, I know the details about your life, where you're from. Uh, how you got to where you are today. That's what we need to know about Jesus. And that's why we need to read the Bible. Because if we don't have Jesus' backstory, we may fall into a place where we have a watered down version of the greatest story of all time. Where we might just know Jesus was born, he lived, and did some cool things, he died and he rose. But if we don't have the full extent of this wonderful story that God has laid out in the story of the entirety of the Bible, that from the beginning God created Adam and Eve in perfection and original justice and intended for them to have a relationship with him in paradise. And what Adam and Eve did is ruin that relationship by sin. And from Adam and Eve on down, all through the generations, all through the Old Testament, everyone was enslaved to sin. And God, as a loving creator, looked on his creation and said, I so desire to be reunited with them in that relationship. And he ran after his creation, sought to make covenants with them, gave them gifts and blessing, and watched over his people. But they continued to sin and fall away and make idols and turn to other gods. And God so desperately loved his people that he said, finally, to David, I will give you a future king, a future Messiah, someone who will come to rule and watch over you and bring you to, to peace forever. And the people continued to turn away from him. And God said, and is the prophet Ezekiel, through the prophet Ezekiel, that my people are sheep that are scattered. 
and I will be their shepherd. I myself will gather the sheep. And what does he do? He sends that Messiah. He sends that Messiah eventually in the person of Jesus, and he outdoes himself. That not only does he send an earthly individual as the promised Messiah, but he sends his only son, his only beloved son to come into the world incarnate as the person of Jesus Christ, to enter into our reality, to become human like us, to go to the depths of our humanity, to, uh, to see our brokenness at its deepest and most intimate level, that Jesus goes to the bottom and is crucified. And Jesus experienced the depths of our weakness and our brokenness. God himself comes to meet us at our lowest point to raise us up to the heights of what we're created for and encourages us and empowers us on through his resurrection and by the power of his Holy Spirit at Pentecost to go out into the world and to spread the good news and to live in the peace and the resurrection, the hope of eternity that he's given for us. That's the gospel. That's the good news. And if we don't read the entirety of the Bible... Maybe we missed some of that. And I just gave a very brief account of the complexity and immensity and majesty that is the Bible. My friends, it's the greatest story ever told, the greatest story of all time. And I exhort you that we need to read the Bible. And I have not always done it. But I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm convicted. This is the greatest story of all time. And when I come to read it, I fall in love with Jesus Christ. I come to know more his backstory, the heart of God, and what he's done for his people, particularly through the person of Jesus Christ and what he's continuing to do for you and me now today. So let's read the Bible together. If you'd like to do that with me in the podcast series, it's linked down below. First episode is up. We're going to go through this for 47 days through the Gospel of Luke, Luke's version of the story of Jesus Christ. To come to know him, build a relationship with him. And by that, come to the fulfillment of abundant life that God has set in motion for you and me. Man, I'm sweating. I love it. I love that. That's a good story. That's a good story.